رحمن ساعدني يا رحمن اشرح صدري قرآن إنلأ قلبي قرآن واسقي حياتي قرآن There is nothing as beautiful as a long life filled with the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a life of servitude, of purpose, of goodness. This was the life of Sheikh Mahmoud Al Khusari. Now he was Mahmoud Khalil Al Husari, Rahimallah. He was born on the 17th of September 1917 and he passed away on his way to Kuwait on a trip and he died from liver failure. On the 24th of November 1980, he was 63 years at the time of his death. He memorized the Quran at age 8 and started to recite the Quran in public spaces by the time he was 12. He went on to complete a diploma in Al Qirat Al Ashr in Al Azhar University and later went on to become the first official reciter of the Quran in Cairo on radio. SubhanAllah. And he was known to supervise several recitation centers across Egypt. He was also known to teach in Al Azhar University. He, no, he was nominated as a Mu'adhin. A Mu'adhin is a person who calls Adan in Masajid. And he was the official Mu'adhin for Sidi Hamza Masjid in Egypt and later became a reciter and Imam of the Quran in that same Masjid. He went on to get several medals um, related to the Quran. He became the first president of the Islamic League of Quran reciters. He is known as a very fluent and eloquent reciter of the Quran. His tajweed is so beautiful and his recitation is really good for beginners. If you're just starting out memorizing the Quran and you are in need of a reciter who recited with the routine, then the recitation of Sheikh Al Husari is one of such recitations that is often recommended by Quran teachers. He has been known to record the Quran in different styles and he is an author of 12 books all about the Quran recitation. So he was a notable writer and also he is a notable reciter and also known as Sheikh Al Maqari by Al Azhar University. His last public recitation before he passed away was in Mecca and Medina. Inna lillahi wa inna lillahi wa he survived by two children who went on to keep his legacy alive by investing in a lot of charitable works like masjid complexes, like orphanages, and by ensuring that his recitation spread across the world. His life was so beautiful. He lived for 63 years and all was in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How are you spending your life? How are you spending your time? What are you doing with your time here? It is not too late to begin your journey with the Quran. And I hope that this series inspires you to get started on your journey. Now, the Siddiqui Ramadan project is on and we need your support. We really need you to help us reach out to the deprived communities. We need you to reach out to the Tajudin down the street who has nothing to feed his family with. We need you to help us reach out to the Amina who is trying to make ends meet because she lost her husband and has nothing to give her kids. 
you can be a difference, you can make a difference in their lives by donating to this project. Help us spread the word, help us make life easier for these families. And to donate, you can check the account details on your screen, you can donate via the GoFundMe page, or you can reach out to us by sending us a message on any of the handles on the screen for more details. Please help us share the message so that more people get to know about the work and do not forget to click the subscribe button. Any good in this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I thank him for his guidance and any errors in this is from my nafs and I ask Allah to forgive me and to make this more beneficial than I intended. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik wa ashadu an la ilaha ila anta nastaghfiruka wa atubu ilik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. اشرح صدري قرآن إن قلبي قرآن واسقي حياتي